In today's short video, I'm going to give you an insight into what it's like to work for Leicester Tigers. I'm also going to give you some advice on how you can work in high performance sport yourself. So I worked at Leicester Tigers for a year. I was a strength and conditioned intern with the first team squad. Now I'm going to break down the job in a couple of minutes. But basically what I did was I assisted in all of the gym sessions with the first team players. And I was pretty much the water boy as well. So I filled the water bottles, take them out onto the pitch and assist during the training sessions. If you're trying to visualize that, just think of Bobby Boucher. How did I get the role? Well, a bit of luck, but also make my own luck as well. I tweeted Leicester Tigers a few months before I graduated, and I was simply just looking for advice. I wasn't looking for a job, it was just, well, how can I be an SNC coach at a team as big as yours? Now, I got that advice, got my response, I was happy with that. Didn't think about it after that. But about a week later, I got a tweet from the club again saying, we've got a vacancy, got an internship coming up in a few months' time, would you like to apply? I applied, got my interview, and luckily I was offered the role. In terms of my credentials at the time, so when I started at the club, I'd just finished my degree, I had a 2-1 in sports science, and I'd actually been coaching for about five years. Now, I don't want to set the bar as high as five years for a graduate role, but I would recommend you get two, maybe three years of experience at low levels of sport to have something on your CV, which is a talking point when you go through these interviews at bigger teams. I'll move on now into an average day at the club and break down the basic elements of a typical day. Now, I'd start quite early in the morning, around about half seven, get in there early, get the breakfast, best food in the world, which I do still miss. Gym sessions would start about 8 o'clock. This would go on for about two hours. So multiple players around the gym who you're working with. They would have a team meeting at 10 o'clock. They'd come out to train on the field at half 10. So during that time, I'm filling water bottles, handing them out on the pitch during training. I'd go for lunch. And then I'd come back in the office about half 12, read some journal articles. And then the players would have a second training session out on the field around about 2 o'clock. So once again... Um, washing the bottles, refilling them, handing them out during training. Some players, not all, would come into the gym afterwards to do a quick session. I'd do my own training after that. I'd hover around for a little bit, and then I'd get home for about 6 o'clock. So half 7 till 6, Monday to Friday, typical week for me. Now, the players I can't speak highly enough of. I had a great time being around such fantastic players. They were humble. They were extremely dedicated. The standards in training were unbelievable. I've been at a few clubs now, but it was nothing like Leicester Tigers. It was frightening to watch how dedicated these players were. They had a winning mentality. They'd just won the league. They were reigning champions. So I came in to a team that was buzzing with confidence, but still hungry for success as well. The standards never dropped. I'll move now into the pros and cons of working for the club. Starting with the positives, it's my hometown team. It was my dream from being a kid to work for Leicester City or Leicester Tigers. So to do that straight after I graduated, I'm still really happy about that. I'm still very proud. And it wasn't just about being a fanboy and being there. I learned a lot as well. Not just as an SNC coach, but as a person. My own standards improved after working at the club. I think a lot of things I talk about now, my teaching methods, comes from Leicester Tigers. Moving on to the negatives, it's hard to be negative about working for a club as big as Leicester, my hometown team, but I didn't have a lot of money at the time. It was quite stressful and I did find that hard at times. I had to get a second job and um, I was working seven days a week pretty much for a year trying to keep my head above water. Secondly, I didn't make the impact I wanted to make. I think maybe it was my hometown team and I got complacent. It was my dream. I achieved that dream so early, I didn't probably work as hard as I should have done. Now, I spoke about this in a previous video. It's not to say that I didn't work hard, but I don't think I went over and above to make a huge impression and be remembered as a great intern. That's why I do videos like this, to make sure you don't make the same mistakes that I did. My advice to you going forward is really simple. You have to network, whether your first year, final year, early the better, but just network, get to know people who work in high performance sport get experience. You can have the best looking CV cover letter in the world, be as charming as you want. If you have no experience, 
it's going to be very, very hard for you to climb the ladder and get yourself into these high performance environments. So that was my short video on Leicester Tigers. I've also got a video about working with Borussia Dortmund, which I recommend you give a watch. And also get in touch with me on Instagram if you have any suggestions for other videos. Okay, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.